When shopping for LED headlight and fog light bulbs, you usually see a lot of different numbers in the title and the description of the product. There's things like 40 watt, 45 watt, 50 watt. You see things like 3000 lumen, 300,000 lumen, Candela, Lux. But we're not talking about those because those have to do with power and brightness. In this video, we're gonna talk about color. That's the number that ends with a K. 3000K, 4000K, 6000K, 8000K. You see, all colors exist on a wider spectrum of energy called the electromagnetic spectrum. But right in the middle, you've got the part that we call visible light. And it starts down near 2000 and 3000K with infrared. It goes up to the color of the sun in the middle, about 5500K to 5800K. And then it ends way up there by 8,000K, 10,000K, 11,000K, but that's ultraviolet. The farther you get away from the middle, down to infrared or up to ultraviolet, the less we perceive the light. So we're gonna talk about exactly which bulb colors are the best for driving and why. All right, so picture this. You're driving around in the evening and you pass a street light. It's that old style yellowish white halogen color. And then a car from let's say 2010 passes you with just plain white headlights. But then something comes over the hill that looks like a spaceship. You've got the new Mercedes Audi or BMW with these bluish white lights that have lasers built into them. All three of those colors are white because color exists on a spectrum. But the interesting thing is how our eyes perceive different variations and different hues of color. Over time, the human eye has developed to see the best and perceive the most color and brightness under the color of the natural sun, which is about 5,800 Kelvin in terms of color measurement. If you go above that color, you get more of a blue color. They call it a colder color. That's where we have our 6,000K, 6,500K, and 8,000K colors. If you go below the color of the sun, we call those warmer colors, like 4,000K, which is the color of a halogen light bulb, or 3,000K, which could be yellow like this here. We can see all of these colors, but they react differently in our eyes. If you have two bulbs that are exactly the same and they just have different colors, they actually produce the same amount of luminous energy. But because our eyes can only perceive things closest to the visible spectrum center, as you deviate, it will look less bright. So a 45 watt, 3000K LED headlight bulb will measure and appear brighter to us at 5,500K as it would in a 6,500K version. But we also like the way things look differently. In my personal opinion, if I'm working on a classic car, uh, like an old Mopar or something, I'm gonna want something that probably looks like a 4,000K or a 3,500K color. More of that old school halogen white so it looks how it should look. But if I'm working on something a little bit newer, like from the 90s or 2000s, I probably don't wanna go all the way up into the blue part of the white spectrum. So I'm gonna stick around more of a natural color, like a 5500K that doesn't have much blue in it. But if I'm working on a more modern vehicle from the 2020s, I might want something with some more blue because that's the current style. However, you just have to know that as you deviate from the middle, you're sacrificing visible performance and brightness for style. Now the color of light is defined by its wavelength. As the wavelengths get closer together or farther apart, we see them as different colors. Even though a 6000K color that's higher in the spectrum and more blue looks better and technically creates the same amount of light, sometimes it might not be the best, most versatile solution because of how closely packed together the wavelengths are that make up the color. You see, when you have a higher Kelvin color temperature where the wavelength is closer together and tighter, it doesn't leave a lot of room for things to pass through it. 
so you end up with light scatter. This is why if you've ever driven in the snow and rain with a modern headlight with more bluish, cooler colored headlights or LED bulbs that are more cool and bluish white, you almost get that Star Wars hyperdrive effect where you see every single snowflake and every single raindrop coming at you. Whereas if you have a more warmer, more yellow white color, the wavelength is actually farther apart giving space for various particles to pass through. That's why people say that a more yellow color is better for driving in bad weather, because it doesn't scatter and reflect back at you as much when it's illuminating particles in the air. Even though it's technically the same brightness, it has different characteristics because of our perception of the light and the actual energy shape that's used to create the light. So what's the point? The point is you should know what colors you want and what colors you're buying. When we look at trusted brands like GTR Lighting and Morimoto, we know that their bulb colors are accurate. For example, the Morimoto Two Stroke 4.0 comes in at 5,500K. So we know that it's gonna be right around the center of the visible light spectrum, as close as possible to the color of the sun giving you the most effective and versatile light output that you can get, because that's what Morimoto's all about. No gimmicks, no games, function over form. The Morimoto Two Stroke is the benchmark for a 5500K bulb, and we can compare everything else against that color. The GTR Lighting Ultra Two, for example, says that they are a 6000K color, so they should be similar, but when we look at the beam on the wall, we should see a difference in color in the middle and especially the glow around the bulb will be a dead giveaway of what the color really is. In order to demonstrate these different colors, we went and bought a whole bunch of different LED headlight bulbs to show you what they look like against the wall because a bunch of them say they're the same color, but they're not. So first we're gonna start with a halogen headlight or fog light bulb. This thing comes in at 2,700K. This is your standard color white that doesn't have any blue in it at all. It kind of leans toward the yellow spectrum. And this is what we've been used to up until the last 10 or 15 years. But then when you go buy an LED bulb that says it's 3000K, basically the same color as the halogen bulb, you get something like this. It's not a true 3000K, it's more of a fabricated yellow. And you get different shades of yellow. Some of them are more orange or more green or more purely yellow, and so it's kind of a crapshoot when you're shopping for a 3000K. Do you want something that is a true 3000K that looks more like that halogen bulb, or do you want something that has a specific color? I wish these bulb manufacturers wouldn't just call them 3000K, maybe they should call them something like yellow. But let's move up the spectrum a little bit to this bulb that says it's 4300K. This is what everybody used to call a uh, OEM white or natural white. Here's what that looks like. You can see it's a very boring, plain looking white with a little bit of yellow in it. There's really no trace of blue to be seen, but because it's so far away from 5,800, it's still not a good choice if you're trying to get the most performance out of your bulbs. Then we skip all the way from 4,300 to 5,500 with the Morimoto Two Stroke Four. As you can see, this is a perfectly white light if you look at the glow around the beam pattern on the wall, you're gonna see that there's no blue, there's really no yellow. It's really absent of any other colors. This is how you can tell that it's a pure white color. If all the bulbs had the exact same specifications of power and brightness, and one of them was the color of the Morimoto bulb, and one of them was either more yellow or more blue, the Morimoto bulb would be the best option. Then we go up just a little bit to 6,000K. We're gonna start with the GTR Lighting Ultra 2. This bulb comes in at 6,000K, and this is exactly what you should expect from a 6,000K bulb color. You can see it's still very much white, but there is a hue of blue to it. You can see it not only in the center of the beam pattern, but also in the glow around the beam pattern on the wall. Now we can get even more blue than this, but let's take a look first at some other bulbs that claim to be 6,000K. This one says that it's 6,000K, 
But correct me if I'm wrong, this looks almost green. What do you think? This just goes to show that just because they say it's this color doesn't mean you can trust it. There's major quality controls and communication barriers when manufacturers of these bulbs try and sell these products in the American market. Here's another one that's 6,000 K and it's very, very blue. Again, this is not a good representation of the color 6,000 K, but there's a lot of bulbs for sale out there that say they're 6,500 K. Let's take a look at what a 6,500 Kelvin bulb looks like. The truth is you really shouldn't be able to tell the difference between say a 6,000 K and a 6,500, at least not without a scientific instrument. Here's another one in 6,500 that looks pretty similar, but you can kind of see some differences. And here's one more in 6,500 K. As you can see, these bulbs with the same color all show slightly different variations of what they call 6,500 K. And lastly, at the very top of the color spectrum, we have something that they call ice blue, which is probably a 10,000 or 11,000 K color. This thing is so, so, so blue. Everything in front of you is gonna be washed out in the color blue. White and yellow signs are gonna look blue. Red signs are gonna look green. Driving with these is gonna be an absolute disaster. And it's also not gonna be very bright because the human eye doesn't perceive high K colors very well. Even if it was as bright from a lumen standpoint as say the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, it's gonna look less bright just because of the color. Do not get a yellow bulb or a green bulb or a red bulb or a blue bulb unless it's for a very specific reason and you're going for color, not visible performance. With all these options, it's really hard to know which bulbs to trust and what all the numbers mean. That's why on our website, headlightrevolution.com, we only sell products that we can stand behind, that we believe in, and that we think when you buy it, you're actually gonna get what the manufacturer says you're getting. And if you have questions, you can always call us. We have a whole staff of people waiting to talk to you about color options and brightness options and vehicle fitment and applications. And if you wanna learn more about what's best in a fog light, we have another video where we talk about the difference between white or yellow and the various color styles that you're gonna see of different bulbs in that 3000K range. So we got all your answers. Go check it out. Go to headlightrevolution.com, subscribe to our channel, search our other videos for LED fog light videos, and you're gonna learn everything you need to know to make the best choice with your hard earned money. Thanks for watching.